everyone, welcome back to another episode of Brown Sugar. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. So today we'll be spending some time with Courtney. They did officially adopt the husky, so today we'll be taking him to the vet and also to the park so that we can train him. Courtney has a lot going on these days and she's been really stressed out and tense. It says that she's tense from trying to get inheritance money and she's also tense from friend balance crashing. So. She's been all over the place. Hopefully going to the park with the dog will ease some of her tension. Hello? Oh yeah, I forgot that Malik has allergies. I think he needs to get an allergy shot and we also need to feed the dogs too. We'll get started on breakfast also because I want to make the most of the day. And I think Malik is still feeling bitter about dinner with his parents, which is crazy because that happened months ago. I don't know why he is like this, but hopefully things change, especially if they are going to get married. Okay, Courtney, let's get started on breakfast. Richie, I thought you would have liked having a big brother or a little brother. I'm not in the mood, Richie. Okay, let's get started on breakfast. Or maybe we'll have Malik start breakfast because Courtney decided to come outside and do a yoga routine. I think this is really starting to get to her because I haven't seen her do yoga in a really long time. And what is going on now? Malik is feeling disappointed. All right, we are going to have Malik go to work today. Warmer discomfort. Ah, uh, the air is warmer, the birds are singing, and the air quality is slowly deteriorating, flaring up Malik's allergies. Only he could get some relief. Okay, I think we need to get Malik to do an allergy shot. Actually, doesn't he have medicine? Yeah, he does. He is being so dramatic right now. Okay. But I feel like the allergies are on brand for him. Oh, he has work in 40 minutes. He wants to make sure that the household is taken care of while he's... Malik, Courtney, how's the yoga routine going? I think we'll head out around 10 o'clock. I don't want to waste the whole day doing... Is there someone that you can talk to? So they decided on the name D'Angelo for the husky. I felt like it was fitting, especially since the name of this series is Brown Sugar. Since, since Courtney's outside doing her yoga routine, I'll have Malik get started on breakfast and I think I'll have him make her a protein shake as well. They've been really working as a team lately and I'm here for it. And Malik's allergies are really starting to get to him. Let's see what we can make for breakfast this morning. Oh, you know what? I've actually been wanting to purchase some fruit, so let's do that. And I think Malik should check on his plant as well. So Courtney is supposed to be receiving an inheritance. We don't know how much she's going to receive, but I think we're going to have them move and possibly closer to Brightchester. I think there's some sort of scam going on with this house, especially since Monarch is no longer our landlord. So I think it'll be best for us to leave. How's it going, Courtney? Your man made you a protein shake. Richie, what's going on? Okay, I don't know how Richie feels about his new little brother, but you're joking. I think Richie might be miserable. Look at him. Is this our new normal? What is he having? He's eating a beetroot salad for breakfast. I guess, Malik, you need to take your medicine before you go off to work. Here. And let's text Jeremiah. Okay, Courtney, how are you feeling, honey? I guess she's still tense. We're not giving him a bath right now. Actually, I think we do need to give him a bath. We're going to take him to the vet and then we'll take him to the park so we can train him because this is unacceptable. I also think this house is getting too small for all of them, so... I'm really considering having them move. I forgot, we need to feed them, so let's fill this before we go upstairs. In 
and for some reason they keep finding Courtney. She's been fined again for using too much water. I hate this place and I'm ready to leave. You need a bath right now. So I'm trying to get Courtney to meet with a lawyer so they can actually lay out the terms for her. If she does receive a lump sum of money, then perhaps they can purchase a town home in Whitechester. Or maybe Courtney can put that money towards a business. What business will that be? I have no idea because she hasn't made one necklace yet. Now let's mop this up. Great. <laughs> and he has to pee. He needs to learn to use the restroom. And our house is filthy. I cannot believe this. I thought Malik did laundry last episode. I guess not. All right, let's do this before we go, Courtney. And is this done? What is smoking? I know our dryer is not broken. You're kidding me. Okay, Malik is going to have to fix that when he gets home. Or should we call the property owner? Okay, we'll figure it out later. We need to go to the vet. Actually, Courtney needs to take a shower before we go. Where's Richie? Richard, are you okay? Where is Richie? Oh, how cute. Sweet. Okay, Richie, stop. He's like, I'm the man around here. This is my house. I definitely had an outfit for Courtney, but I guess she wanted to wear this, so we're just gonna head out. I don't have time for this right now. We just made it to the vet, and somebody's already spying. Unbelievable. Okay, let's go ahead and check in D'Angelo. We need to get him spayed because I don't want any mutts running around here. And then we also need to sign him in for a checkup. Richie should be okay this time. Ew, and someone has fleas. Richie, stay away from him, please. Hopefully we're not here all day. You know how this vet is. So far, Richie's been okay with his new brother. Oh. Oh, poor guy. It says D'Angelo has been spayed. This means that they cannot make babies anymore. Good. And what is Courtney's mom doing here? I know she doesn't have any pets. Let's give her a hug. Did she adopt an animal? Mom, um, what are you doing here? Interesting. Okay, well that was fast. Did we check him in for the checkup? I think we need to do that separately. He is all over the place. I cannot. Okay, let's come over here and sign him in for a checkup. We still have not hung out with Tab and I feel really bad, but I promise in the next episode we are going to hang out with her. Look at Richie making friends. Can we sit over here and chat, Courtney? I guess not. I guess we're just going to stand in the middle of the vet and you're joking. Ew. Lassie gone wrong. Why are they always fussing at the pets? I guess he's going upstairs to get checked out. Let's come upstairs and make sure that everything is okay. I think Richie's downstairs taking a nap. That was easy. Hopefully we can still train him. I hope he's not in a bad mood. Hey Courtney, we'd love to have you join Dive Club. What do you think? I don't know what Dive Club is, but maybe it'll give Courtney something to do. Let's unleash the dog and let's get started on this training. Where's Richie? Is there someone coming to bend or what? Wait, why can't we do it with the big dog? So this can only be used with small dogs? You're kidding me. Where are they? Where is Richie? I don't even know if Richie's going to like doing this obstacle course. 
Where is he? Girl, Richie does not want to do this. Look at him. And we can't do it with the big dog, so there's that. Alright, so I guess we'll just... We'll get to know D'Angelo, and then we will... See if we can do some training. How about we have him sit? Oh, he's already sitting. I cannot. Um, how about we try roll over and lie down? I've been wanting to train a pet for so long, so this is kind of exciting for me. LOL. Look at Richie over there. He's like, I am not going in there. Richie, you're worthless, okay? And let's train him to fetch. We're doing a lot for a dog that just got some work done, but it is what it is, honey. Ooh, the Spice Festival is in town. I actually think it would be fun to go. We haven't done any festivals in this Let's Play yet, but I do feel like the Spice Festival would be on brand for them. I think Malik gets off of work around 6, so maybe we can go with him and grab a drink? We'll see. We're just taking it easy this episode. I really wanted to spend some time with D'Angelo and get him together. He's doing good, I think. What's up with Richie? Richie wants attention, and when we were giving him attention, he didn't want to play with us. You have to pick a struggle, Richie. Do you want to play or not? What's wrong, Richie? He's like, I want to play too. I think they're ready to go. He's like... Okay, I don't think either one of them want to be here right now, and Courtney has to pee. So we're back home, and Malik is feeling tense. It says that he needs video games, so perhaps we can have him go out with his frat brother this evening. Welcome home, Courtney. Courtney's starving. Let's give her a passionate kiss, and then let's talk about marriage, because what's really going on? Malik does want to marry Courtney. But I don't want them to feel rushed into it. He really wanted to make sure that they had everything together before making that step, so... Was he propositioning her? I cannot. Malik, what is up with you? Why are they both... What's that? Courtney, what are you complaining about right now? They're cute. Oh? Okay. What's up, Malik? Ew, our house is filthy. Alright, are we going out with the boys tonight? Or Jeremiah, at least? He's in the area. Oh. What a coincidence. I guess he was already coming over to get Malik. Love that. Okay, let's invite him in. I kind of want to hook up Jeremiah and Aubrey. I think they would be really cute. Hurry up and eat your mango, Malik. And Courtney, don't you have something to do? Go get some rest. This house is a mess. Malik, can you at least clean this stuff up before you guys leave? And we'll find a bar to go to. I wanted to do the Spice Festival. We'll see. Jeremiah is so cute. A little skinny, but he's definitely cute. Someone's at the door. Oh, it's Malik's dad. Okay, we need to replace this. I need to know when people are at my door. Let's invite his dad in. Brittany, your man is here. And I hope <laughs> That's messy. Maybe he wants to see the new dog. Or maybe he's gonna go out with them. It'll be a boys' night, you know? 
love that. Richie, you're barking at Malik's dad. I think Richie's barking at Malik's dad because he knows about what happened at dinner. Richie's messy. Courtney heard the doorbell ring, so she's going to go downstairs and see what's tea. I want to see how she's going to react to Malik's dad being here. Should we pregame? It looks like Jeremiah's already on it. Yeah, let's go ahead and pregame. Um, let's see. Let's do a bottle. And we are going to do some vodka shots. Slump, soy. <laughs> okay, why are we talking to dad in the bathroom? Courtney? Oh, Courtney went back to sleep. I guess she was really tired. We have so much laundry to do because everything is broken. I want her to say hi to Malik's dad. I know that's messy, but I want to see- Oh, 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 Narga, throw. Ah. oh hey. <laughs> I don't know why he's in here, but let's brighten his day. Am I being messy? Yeah, Courtney's tired. Let's just say hey to him, and I guess we'll go back to sleep. I don't want to be too messy. They're supposed to be going out anyway. Don't do too much, Courtney. And why does she want to become enemies with Vanessa? Okay, Courtney, you're doing a lot right now, honey. I just told you to say hello to him. Now you're in here with your lingerie being flirty. Let's not do too much, okay? Here comes Malik. See, Courtney, you know what you're doing, honey. Oop, Malik's like, Dad, are you ready to go? Where's Jeremiah? Okay, let's call the guys to the shots and let's leave before this escalates. Let's have Jeremiah call them to the drink. Courtney, you need to go to bed. Okay, not him being in their bed. Courtney, good night, honey. You're done. And we're gonna pregame with the guys. Why do we have clothes here? Why are there clothes on the floor? This is giving me PTSD from when Tab was here. You guys ready to go? Did everybody take their shot? Yeah, it's getting really late. Why are we leaving the house at midnight? It looks like Malik just made a friend. His name is William, or not. Malik thinks that William is weird, and William thinks that Malik is egocentric. I spoke too soon, but it says that Courtney lost her lifestyle. Courtney has lost her close-knit lifestyle. She'll have to work hard if she wants it back. Then again, maybe it's time to try something new. I agree. I think it's time to try being a people person. Jeremiah, do you want to get some drinks for the guys? Oh, Malik's coming upstairs to play beer pong. With Courtney's mom? Okay. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting this. Very interesting. This is supposed to be boys' night. Let's get Jeremiah upstairs. This is crazy. Ooh, maybe Malik should use this as an opportunity to talk to Courtney's mom about their future. I guess he's just bringing up the fact that they're supposed to be getting married. He's like, yeah, Courtney told me about the whole inheritance thing. We're trying to speak to a lawyer, but it's just been really difficult. Maybe Jeremiah knows of a lawyer. Yeah, let's share a secret with Jeremiah. He's like, that's Courtney's mom over there. I'm screaming. Okay, I know Jeremiah is already drunk, but let's do beer pong. And we're going to play beer pong with 
I know Courtney is not here in her bonnet. What is Courtney doing here? Courtney, what are you doing right now, honey? You are embarrassing me. What is going on? Maybe Malik called her and asked her to pick him up. I don't know. Janelle, how have you been? I guess Courtney came to pick up Malik, but like, why would she come out of the car with her bonnet on? I think Jeremiah left. Wait. Oh, Jeremiah's right here. They made a new friend. He's like, yeah, let me get your number. We can all train. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's tell him an unbelievable story. His... Not Roy D. Dillon. This is the same Roy from the gym. I guess they already know each other. Meanwhile, Courtney is downstairs talking to Deidre. She's like, I told him not to come out so late. I know he's drunk. Where is he? Honey, just relax. Men are gonna be men. You know, let him do his thing. Courtney's pissed. She had to leave her bed to come and pick up Malik and his frat brother. I think his dad left. <laughs> so they needed a ride back home. It's a lot, Miss Deidre, and oh, let's fill the baby. I cannot believe that Courtney is here in her bonnet and house slippers. Courtney, I... How far along are you? She's like, I'm about four months. Congrats. And maybe we can share a secret with her. You know, let her know what she and Malik are going through right now. Brittany, do you really think marriage is in the cards for you right now, honey? I feel like you have a lot of work to do. What do you mean by that, Miss Deidre? I don't know, honey. I feel like you're not really marriage material. I'm sorry. This is the girl that she wants to become enemies with, and I believe that Vanessa is a friend of Miss Deidre's. I'm pretty sure they got into it at her barbecue because for some reason they don't like each other, and for some reason Courtney wants to become enemies with her. I don't know what beef they have, but we need to get to the bottom of this. And Courtney's just sitting here waiting for her to finish. Hey Marcel. Look at the boys. Yeah, they're drunk. Courtney's the designated driver. This is crazy. Why has the bouncer not kicked Courtney out yet? She is not in dress code. How did they even let her in here? Malik won. Yes, I know that's right. Look, I don't want any issues with you, honey. Can we just, like, end it? She's like, I never had any issues with you, Courtney. I think we're gonna head home. This is ridiculous. Oh, Tab. Um, what is going on? She's like, hey, me and Janelle were meeting up. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Meanwhile, Malik is still upstairs playing ping pong with Jeremiah. We need to leave. It's five o'clock in the morning. And she's still downstairs talking to the girls. Courtney, gather your husband. Oops. Not her husband. I think Malik lost this round. Yeah, we need to head home. Courtney, gather your husband and let's go. Tap, we'll see you later. Tap's like, are you going to come over this weekend? I really cannot believe Courtney, you guys. This is really embarrassing. Oh yeah, and Courtney did join that dive club. Maybe we'll meet up with them and see what they're giving. Look at Malik. He's like, I'm ready to go. Is there a diner nearby? Malik, we're heading home. Malik is annoyed and I think he's hungry. So let's have him get some food. And we're just going to call it a night. Courtney gathered her husband and now she's going to bed. This is so crazy. I can't believe she left the house like this.
I think someone was spying on Malik at the bar, so he's feeling tense right now, but I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a brown heart in the comment section and let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next episode.